G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a swap today. I am using the Bloom recipe for my colors, but because I don't have um, black pillow <clears throat> and I want the background to be really thin because it's a swipe, I'm using the black um, in the artist loft. Do you guys remember when I did, oh, I'll show you. It's too big to fit on the screen, but do you remember when I was doing these really big swipes? Um, that is the black artist loft on those ones. Um, and they were mixed four parts flow troll. This one here, four parts flow troll to one part black. So that's what's in here. That's going to be my background. So I've got lots of little squeeze bottles with different colors made in, made up. That's sort of the cooler colors there and the warmer colors there. So let's move those away. And I've chosen today a gold, Payne's Grey, and a turquoise. So these are Jo Sonia's paints. That's them there. That's the pale gold. That one is the Payne's Grey. This one is the turquoise with a little touch of uh, blue in it, just to make it a little bit more of a, a blue turquoise. So that's those. My cell activator today, this guy here, he is, because it's a swipe, I want it to be thicker, two parts flow troll to one part Amsterdam titanium white. So that's what I'm doing. These colours are all made with my Bloom recipe. Um, it's a untinted house paint. Um, and then it's got a mix of um, a gloss varnish, just on his gloss varnish, and polycrylic. So that's what's in those. But we'll move them out of the way for a minute while I get started on my background. So this is just the Artist Loft black. I don't have any of the, the black pillow paint. Um, I guess I'll get some at some stage. I've been using the white, obviously, to do my blooms. But I don't have any black, but I wanted to see if the background would work the same way as it does when I do my regular swipes. So, because it's not a bloom, you know, I don't have to stretch it. So the pillow paint doesn't have to be thick and stretchy. So that's why I'm sort of thinking maybe it'll work because it's a swipe. I may give it a little bit of a tilt depending on what it looks like. I don't even know if it's going to work. All right, so that's my background. I don't need too much, actually. <clears throat> I did make up 200 grams of flow troll and 50 grams of paint. That's four to one, but uh, I haven't used it all. This is just a little practice card that I use when I'm doing my practices and I don't want to waste a, a canvas. It's a nice thick card. It doesn't warp. I think that's still a little bit thick. I'm going to have to tilt some off hang on to it up here so that it doesn't slide off. See how it's still moving in waves? So that's too thick. I need to get some off. You can see the wave there on the side. Everyone wave back. <laughs> the Mexican wave. All right, so we'll just get that off. Okay, so we just want it nice and thin, the coating. I'm just gonna bring that back to the middle. All right, so that's our nice thin coat. Don't leave it too thick on for your background. Uh, you get a better, better result if you don't make it so thick. I've got my bit of paper towel. I have got three different sizes of plastic, like so, and I forgot to turn my notifications off. Sorry about that. If it does it again, I'll pause the video and I'll turn it off and then I'll start the video again. Right, so that's my plastic. I'm just going to swipe with that. It's just a document holder that I've cut up. I've been using it for <laughs> a year. Same pieces. I just wipe them clean. Righto. Um, 
Now I really like the lightening effect that I get with the gold and the white. So the gold's going to go on top. I don't want the paints grey on, on the bottom because it's dark. So I'm going to start with this turquoise. I probably don't need to have the nozzle when I'm doing a big section like this, do I? I probably just need to pour it out rather. Anyway, when you're using these, just make sure that the top is clean of dry paint, otherwise you'll get a blob in there. I always just scratch the top. <laughs> a little bit just fell in. Um, yeah, I always just scratch the top to get those little dry bits off. All right, let's go with the Payne's Grey. And then the gold. And I, I made these up a, a week ago, I guess, so I just give them a bit of a shake. I don't see why we can't keep them as long as they're sealed. I don't see why we can't just reuse them. Gonna have to make up some more though, so using quite a lot on here. So as I said, uh, flow troll to paint two to one. I did try it uh, when I first started my blooms. I tried four to one because that's what everyone said they should use. Not didn't work. Kept sinking. I tried three to one. You can see it's starting to sink a little bit, so I'm going to get straight into it. Put that into the white. Drag down, clean it off. Oh my gosh, oh, look at the lacing. Overlap a little bit into the white. So I'm using half the white because I want to use the other half of the white for the other side. I think I'll press a little bit deeper actually. I don't know that it makes a difference. That's just reacted. Look, been there a bit longer, so it's reacted. Okay, so there we go. Look at that. Turn it around. Pretty, pretty. Okay, let's go again. Turn that plastic on. I'm obviously only using the one side, one size, but I don't want my lines to um, sort of join up, so I'm going to off center this one a little bitty. Might push a little bit harder and see what that does, if anything. I'll use my, mm, I'll use this one, use the smaller one for the corner here. The edge, I should say. It's not really a corner, is it? Now just be careful you don't put black back into your white center there. I think it's nice just to keep it a nice bright white. I don't know that it makes any difference how fast you swipe. So pretty. Look at all that lacing. Oh my gosh. It is just a full on lacing. All right, not bad for a first attempt. I've still got a lot of white in the middle there. Um, I think I'll go again with this side here. I've got a lot of white just there. And then I might tilt it a little bit just to see if I can stretch it out. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? I haven't left so much white in the middle there. Yeah, probably didn't need that much white, but hey, this is my first time with this. I'm going to break up some of this white in the middle there. That's better, isn't it? See how I'm getting more um, lacing in the middle there in the white? So I'll leave some areas with more white and then I'll leave some areas with less. This is a little bit blurred here. I think I went a bit fast there and the cells kind of stretched. So let's go over that area. I 
think probably slower is better and we don't over stretch everything all right i'm going to leave that like that and i think i'm going to give it a little bit of a tilt just to see what happens just because <laughs> just because see what happens gorgeous gorgeous lacing What do you think? Oh, there's quite a big blob there still of, of white. I think I'm just going to have to get rid of that as well. It's a little bit too much just there. Whoops, I missed a bit. My gosh, look at that lacing. All right, I'm gonna just stretch it a little bit just to see what what happens. You don't have to, by all means, you can, you can stop there. But I just wanna see what happens. And maybe I can sort of have my center line a little bit off center, a little bit. So these are coming down and the rest of it's not really moving. I guess that's the problem with trying to tilt a swipe. Just get a little bit off the bottom there. Okay, it's gone over. And then go back the other way. Yeah, so I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but hey, why not? We'll just give it a try, hey, see what happens. That center line is really not moving, is it? Mm, not really, a little bit. <laughs> it's because it's so thin, the base coat, it's like it's not going to move. If I had a, a big thick pillow underneath, it's, so now it's starting to overstretch here, I'm going to leave it. If I had a big thick pillow underneath, um, that would be a different story, you know, it would all move together, but that's not what I wanted for this particular painting. Um, it's got quite a lot of grey here. Um, I guess that's from the, the background underneath. I might try next time with a little bit more paint in the middle so it drags over. See, this is really gorgeous. We've got the turquoise there, we've got the paints grey there. I mean, yes, you can see the black through there. We've got more gold on this side. I'm just wondering if my cell enhance is still a little bit on the thin side. Hmm. Not sure. I'll have to do more experimenting, but hey, I really like that for a first attempt. Hey, do you like it? All that lacing, my gosh. And I did put a little bit too much white in the center, so less white next time, hey? I'll do another one after this. I'll change the colours up a little bit. And uh, I think I'll put more colour in the centre, but less white. Because I have got, it, it's quite thick in the middle there, wasn't it? All right, let's go down for a close-up. Let's see what we think. Wow, <laughs> look at that lacing. My goodness. So pretty. So over here where I've left a little bit too much white in the middle, the cells have really kind of popped up and spread because the white, there was a lot of white there. Um, and then over here where I didn't have very much white at all, the cells are doing better, look prettier. Look at that lacing. Wow, never had lacing like this before. Well, till I, I've had lacing like this before, but not a whole painting full of lacing. Wow. So yeah, I probably shouldn't have tilted it because I've got a few little wonky areas there. Oops, I'm going blurry. A few little wonky areas. It's my favorite little spot. 
But um, yeah, let's do it again. Play it again, Sam. And uh, see how we go with the next one. And I'll turn my notifications off. <laughs> All right, I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.